Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Norman Denkoma from Soweto. My, testify, my testimony goes like this. On the second week of January, I was attacked by evil. I had a stroke on that, on that day. And then when I feel that I could not feel myself anymore, I rushed to my phone. I take my phone. I was looking for the numbers of my, of the, of my fellow sisters. I couldn't find those numbers. And I went down on my knees. I said, Father, please give me only one of them so that I can get help. After saying that prayer, I went back to my phone. When I opened my phone, I saw my son's phone number was the first one. And the second one, one was one of the ladies which, which, which stays with me in Green Village. And when I found the numbers, I called her. She answered the phone. When she answered the phone, I couldn't speak. She called me on the phone, no more, 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 I couldn't answer. But I'm holding the phone. Only one word came out of my mouth. Selina Yagula. That was the end. I couldn't know what was happening after that. My body was hot. I was tired. I was angry. I don't know what was happening in my, my life. Within a minute, People of God, I want you to understand what I'm saying. Mama Selinas is a distance from my house. I'm in Green Bay Village. She's in Dobsonville Gardens. And that is a distance, those who know so it. But in a few minutes, I heard the ladies speaking outside. And it came to my God has answered my prayer. They burst into the house, as many as they were. All the children of Prophet Isaka, they were there. They were there. And when they come in, I could not speak. They asked me what happened. I don't know. I can't speak. I just look at them. I don't know how I look at my face. But I, I could see that they were scary because everybody's hand was on the mouth. And I said to myself, what happened now? And the young lady, Sharon, she just grabbed her phone. She said the ladies, bring her to the dining room. They carried me out of the bedroom to the dining room. When we got there, we know that these things, they happen so quick. And you can't even follow. You can't even explain what happened. I don't know what happened in that minute. I only heard Mama Lungi speaking over the phone. When I'm listening, I can't understand what she's saying. All of a sudden, I heard the voice of our father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! I heard Prophet Isaka speaking over the phone. And I asked myself, where is he? Because he's not here. I know Mama Lungis is poison. Where is Prophet Isaka? I'm still puzzled. I heard the voice of my father and said, quick, quick, let us touch the ground. I can't get to the ground. I'm sitting on the couch. I don't. Sharon, I thank God for her life. She grabbed my hand. She pressed my hand on the ground. And I said to myself, oh, 
God, now my body has to follow the hand. I don't know how to get there. But my hand is already on the ground. Prophet started praying. He called the God of right now, right here. He called the God of right here, right now. People of God. I, I can't relate from there because I don't know what happened. I only can relate from after things have happened. I heard Prophet said, she's healed. Clap for Master Jesus, children of God. Mama, which part of your body was affected by the stroke? My right hand. My right side. Can you demonstrate that now you can walk freely like a young yellow CC, yellow bone? Amen. Can you raise your hand, please? Let us know that you are healed and you are healed permanently. Amen and amen. These are anointed, the anointing that I use on that day. Prophet said Sharon should pour water on me, and he said she should anoint me with the anointing oil. This is what you did. After the anointing, I was healed. Thank you, Jesus. Please, Mama, we thank God for your wonderful testimony. Kindly share your word of advice to viewers all over the world and saints here present listening to you. I advise everybody who's listening to me, people of God, evil is real and is following the children of God. If you are not sure of what you are doing, please start right now. Start right now. Know what you are doing about your life. 